Good morning, kinders. So we've been working on some things in math this week. We've been working on, I can describe measurable attributes of objects. I can compare two objects with measurable attributes in common. And I can classify objects into categories. We've also been working in math on counting to 100 by ones and knowing what to do when we get to 9, 19, 29, any of the nines, and counting to 100 by tens. So I'm going to post some pictures, um, some videos of Jack Hartman that you can work on those skills with. And we're also going to work on the counting by ones with the Rick and Rack together right now. Push you guys back. Hold this up. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten comes after nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to scoot you guys back just a little bit more and turn the camera down so you can see my table. And I have some exciting things for us to talk about and compare today. All right. We're going to be talking about this object. So what is that? That is a Christmas ornament. And if you look at it, you can describe it by the attribute of color. You can describe it by the attribute of weight, which is a measurable attribute. It's a very light. It's not heavy. It's very light. You can describe it by the attribute of texture, kind of rough and glittery. And you can describe it by the attribute of size. It's medium. It's not a very large Christmas ornament. All right. We're going to compare this Christmas ornament with this Christmas ornament. So they both have the measurable attribute of weight. They're both very light. And they both have in common the texture and glitter. But something that they don't have in common is the color. This one is blue and this one is silver. All right, we're going to look at a lot more of these Christmas decorations. And we're going to sort them. So one way that we can sort them is by the measurable attribute of weight. Oh, they're all about the same. So we would put them all together. Another way that we could sort them is by the attribute of size. This one is not the same size as this one. So we could put all of the small ones on this side and all of the medium size on this side. Oof. 
There we go. So let's count them. The small ones, we have one, two, three, four. And the medium size, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So which one has more? Four or seven? Seven. This pile has more. This category has more. All right, let's mix them up and sort them one more way. We can look at these and tell that they are different in color. Let's sort them by color. We have silver. We have blue. And we have red. All right, let's count our three categories. Our red category has one, two, three, four. Our blue category has one, two, three, four. And our silver category has one, two, three. Which one has the least? This one has four. This one has four. This one has three. The silver category has the least. All right, guys. So you can work on sorting things at home. I'm sure that your family would love for you to help them sort laundry or socks later today. So work on talking about those attributes, about color, about size, weight, about texture, all of those attributes that you can describe. Thanks, mathematicians. Keep working hard.